The atmosphere is setting up something interesting in Kentucky for this winter. We've got shifting ocean patterns, a moody polar vortex, and a jet stream that looks ready to throw a few surprises our way. This winter will not be boring. And depending on how things line up, timing could make the difference everywhere. Hey everyone, I'm George Herbig, Chief Forecaster here with Weather Now Kentucky. And today we're breaking down this year's winter outlook, snowfall potential, temperature trends, and what the upcoming pattern shifts mean for your backyard. First, we need to talk about Enzo. That's just a pattern in the Pacific Ocean that helps guide the weather across the U.S. Right now, we're in a weak La Nina, meaning Pacific waters are running a little cooler than normal in some locations. La Nina winters in Kentucky usually start milder, but often get more active later in the season. Next up, the Arctic Oscillation, or AO for short. Think of the AO as the mood of the Arctic. When the AO is positive, the polar vortex stays strong and keeps the cold air to our north. But when the AO goes negative, that polar vortex weakens. And that's when we can get some sharp blasts of cold air in Kentucky. We saw this in 2014 and 15, when temperatures plunged well below normal. And oppositely in 2015-16, when the AO stayed positive, we saw a much warmer winter than average. So the AO plays a massive role in our temperature swings throughout Kentucky throughout the wintertime. Now here's where those two things come together. If we get a blocking pattern over Canada or the North Atlantic, the jet stream can dip south. And when that happens, the door opens for both cold air and winter storms to line up over the Ohio Valley. What does that mean as we head into December? Right after Thanksgiving, we're tracking a strong system moving across the region. We're talking multiple days of rain, possibly some thunderstorms, and a surge of moisture. On the backside of that system, there is some potential for some early December snow. Now, confidence in that is not super high just yet, but it's something worth watching. Now, after that cool down and potential backside snow, I believe we do warm up for the first part of December. But from about the middle portion of the month through Valentine's Day, the pattern will flip multiple, multiple times. Not constant cold, but when we do see those cold snaps, they could be quite brutal. The Climate Prediction Center's temperature outlook for the season leans slightly above average when it comes to comparing it to normal in Kentucky, mostly thanks to that early mild stretch that we're going to see. Now, for the precipitation map from the Climate Prediction Center, that's leaning near or slightly above average. So we do know from the Climate Prediction Center and from our research here that the winter will not lack moisture. We just need the cold air in place for you snow lovers to really cash in on that. That's going to be the big question. Now, let's answer some of those questions when it comes to snowfall. Now, before we get into that, I want to give you a quick message for the Wintercast sponsor. At Commons Corner Apothecary in Louisville, they specialize in compounding custom prescriptions made just for you. From hormone therapies to veterinarian dosing and beyond, their expert pharmacists bring precision and care to every prescription. And across the Save Right family of pharmacies, with four convenient hometown locations in Brandenburg, Hardinsburg, Irvington, and Radcliffe, You'll always find quick, friendly service and neighbors who truly care. Whether it's specialized compounding in Louisville or hometown care across the Save Right pharmacies, they're here to keep your family healthy right where you live. Commons Corner Apothecary and the Save Right family of pharmacies. Hometown care personalized for you. So let's get to the part that everyone's been waiting for here. So snowfall. I'm expecting near average snowfall totals across Kentucky, but there are some areas that could see slightly above average snowfalls. And I'm talking the areas near the Ohio River. Louisville, Covington, Elizabethtown, Cynthiana, Owensboro, those areas may have the best chance of finishing slightly above average if the cold snaps line up with the moisture. Now, oppositely, areas to the south and southern portions of Kentucky, I think you may lean a little bit more toward slightly below average. You're going to need what we call perfect storms in order for you to line up with some of those above average totals from the northern portion of Kentucky. What I mean by that is you need kind of these phasing systems to take place. Lots of moving parts coming together to really make a perfect winter storm. It's not impossible. We've seen it several times, in fact. But since we can't guarantee that, I'm putting the forecast there as slightly below average. What's average in Kentucky? Well, the average snowfall in Kentucky statewide is about 8 to 14 inches of snow in the winter season. But moving on from the snow talks, I want to tell you what I am confident about. A milder start, an active mid-season, and a return to spring-like patterns by around the end of February. Now, what still depends on the pattern, how often the AO goes negative, and whether any blocking develops. Those are your two wild cards. If you're a snow lover, you need the AO to go negative to get that jet stream to dip down into Kentucky. 
Now, if you're a snow hater, you're rooting for this to be a classic La Nina winter where it's pretty mild. So to recap, a west start to December, a possible early shot of snow, and a roller coaster pattern through the mid-February time frame. Let me know what you think your area will see in the comments below. And make sure you follow Weather Now Kentucky on all of our platforms for updates as we track each and every pattern flip. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video.